So in this session, we are going to do some restructuring. We know that we have been writing everything in main.go file and it's become kind of messy. Now keep in mind that we will be using MongoDB in some of our future sessions. So I'm not going to be making changes or refactoring in terms of the data, for example, the products here, okay? Uh, things like this, we will eventually be fetching from the MongoDB database instance. So I'm, I'm not touching them up. We are just going to be moving around some pieces from this file to some other file and make it somewhat more cleaner. So two things that we can do right away is first of all for each of these handlers, we have this uh, handler function in line. We can move it out, declare it as a separate function and have the function name as an argument here. Okay, so that's one thing we can do. The second thing is we can actually create a separate file called products.go and that will handle all the product specific thing. And in fact, we can also declare, uh, we can also take out this echo struct and validator struct out of this main.go file and put them somewhere in a common file that is a starting point for our application. And main.go file is just clean. And uh, this is one of our, uh, th this is the first restructuring and it's not the last one. We'll have to keep doing this as the application evolves. Everybody has to touch upon the restructuring and refactoring. Okay, so well, I've gone ahead and done some of that. So let me show it to you. So what I've done is that I've created a Tronix and that also now becomes a Tronix package for this application. All right. So, uh, so Tronix has, uh, Tronix is, uh, we're going to call our application Tronix. So it sells electronic stuff, especially mobiles. Okay. So that's why the name and uh, this is our main file. Okay. And uh, this is going to be the starting point. This is the file that will be invoked by main.go. Okay. And this file is in the package Tronix. Okay. And then I've got a products.go file, which is also the package Tronix, but it's just a different file. Okay, and this has got product specific things. So if you see, I've got the product validator here, it's validate method, I've got the list of products. And I've got all these handler functions as uh, declared separately. So I've got get products, get product as in singular then delete product, update product, and uh, create product. The logic inside the function is the same as what we had in main.go file, all right, it's the same. I've gone ahead and deleted this endpoint, uh, the hello world endpoint, we don't need that right now, okay? So I, I don't have that in the products.go, okay? And in the tronics.go, what I've done, is I just have one function called start, which is a public function here. Okay. And uh, the echo struct and validator struct that I had defined inside main function, I've taken them out and I've declared them here at the packet scope. Okay. So that they are useful for any other, uh, any other category of products or let's say users that are part of this application, right? And uh, this is our echo. And these are all the handler functions. Get, get product ID, delete product ID, put and post and their subsequent respective uh, functions. Okay. It's the same code actually. In, uh, in terms of logic, it's the same. I'll just move some pieces uh, you know, from here and there. So it's it's the same thing. Now I have to change uh, my main.go file actually. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete all of it. Yeah. And now see, uh, in fact, even this part. Okay. And now see how clean it looks, right? Yeah. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the Tronix start method. Okay, and it automatically imports the package for me, which is now Kronal Fremity Go Web Tronix. Okay, and I'm just going to call this method here. 
and that is it that that's all I do so my main.go file looks pretty clean all right and when I run this it builds up just fine and when I come back here in get when I hit the request I get my list of products it's all good so now we are ready to start uh, exploring concepts like middleware and we'll also start uh, learning uh, MongoDB modeling and schema everything mapping it and using it in this project. So I'll see you in the next session then. Thank you